Chamat Karsandu reporting for Sony Sports Network in India, standing alongside Raul Rosas Jr., who takes on Ricky Tercios in Louisville this weekend on the main card. And first of all, uh, Raul, the face-off just happened. That was intense. What did you take away from that face-off with uh, Ricky right there? Uh, nothing, you know. Um, I just looked deep in his eyes and, uh, you know, um, I'm ready for a war and I'm ready to <coughs> take him out. Um, he, he's just uh, Ricky Terzio standing in my way in front of my dreams, in front of my career. Um, it's time for me to take my career to the next level and keep chasing my goals. So I'm going to go out there and take him out and finish that guy. Is it good to finally actually have this fight take place? Because you've had to prepare for him so many times on this occasion. Yeah, you know, um, uh, sadly it wasn't able to happen on February. But now we're here and uh, I feel great, better than ever. And... I'm excited, man. I'm excited to get back in there tomorrow. Uh, just feeling comfortable exactly where I should be. Uh, God has a plan for me, so I just can't wait. How would you describe kind of the, the early evolution of your UFC career as you kind of level up and also as you kind of like grow into this body? You're still only 19 years old, of course. Right now I'm bigger and uh, even bigger than February. So uh, I just keep growing in so many ways on technique, knowledge, uh, everything. So um, I just can't wait to go out there and, and show it tomorrow night. You already have such a passionate following. People seem to be kind of just latching on to this kind of story of yours. And I'm already thinking about some big cards coming up around the corner. Obviously, the one that comes to mind right now for me is The Sphere, the pay-per-view that's taking place at The Sphere, Mexican Independence Day weekend. Do you have an eye on playing a role and playing a part on that card after this weekend? Of course, uh, Mexican Independence Day, uh, I have to go out there and represent, but... Uh, Right now, we're focused on Ricky Tercios. We're going to go out there, finish him, make a statement, as I should. And after that, you know, uh, whatever the UFC wants uh, to book me, I, I just want to stay active. Sure. I'm here for Sony Sports Network in India. And this weekend, on this card, the very first Indian female fighter in UFC history will be making her UFC debut. As someone that's already made his UFC debut and has made that walk for the UFC a few times at this stage, what advice would you give Pooja as she gets ready to make her debut? Uh, is she fighting tomorrow? She's fighting on this weekend's card. Yeah, that's right. First uh, fight on the card against Rayon De Santos. I just tell her, like, uh, a lot of people might get the pressure of the first big UFC event with the big crowd and everything. But uh, all I w recommend to anybody making their UFC debut is uh, keep doing what you did to get here. You know, it's just another fight. At the end of it, it's just doing a cage with another person, like how you've been doing your whole career. So uh, take it as normal and enjoy the moment. And how do you envision this fight with Ricky playing out? When you close your eyes, how do you defeat him? I'm going to finish him, uh, whether it's on the feet uh, or whether it's on the ground, you know, but I just have 100% sure that wherever it goes, uh, I'm going to put him out. Best of luck this weekend, Roll. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.